What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. And today I'll show you how to build a real-time data streaming system with AWS Kinesis, Lambda Functions, and an S3 bucket. So this is how the system is gonna work. So whenever we upload a file to our S3 bucket, it's gonna trigger a Lambda function, which is a data producer that reads the file content from the S3 bucket, and then push the data to Kinesis. And now we have two consumers that consume the data from the stream and they can do different things with it. For example, consumer number one can read the data and then send an email to all the clients with the information, or you can just publish the data to social media platforms. And then consumer number two can just save the data to a database. So there are many things you can do with the data. If you have any specific interest in any topics, comment down below and I'll try to create a separate video for it. And now without further ado, let's build a system together. All right, so right now I'm on the homepage of the AWS console. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an IAM role for our Lambda functions to use so that they have the permissions to access our S3 bucket and our Kinesis stream. So I'm gonna type in IAM, open that into a new tab, and then click rows, create row. We're gonna choose Lambda because the Lambda functions are gonna use it. And now we're gonna add some policies to it. The first one is gonna be CloudWatch because we're gonna use that to look at the logs. For this demo, I'm just gonna give it full access. And then the next one is gonna be S3. I'll give it full access as well. And then lastly, we're gonna give it Kinesis full access. And then hit next, review and then give it a name. We're just gonna call it data streaming system row, create row. All right, so it's done. And now we can move on to step number two, which is to create the three Lambda functions that we have in the system. So I'm just gonna type in Lambda, open that into a new tab. create function, give it a name. I'll just call it producer. We're gonna use Node.js. And then under permission, we're gonna use the IAM row that we just created. I think it's that one. And then create function. All right, so it's done. So remember the architecture diagram that I showed you earlier. So that is that lambda function is for the producer. And now we're gonna create two more for the two consumers. Right click on functions, open that into a new tab. Create function. Give it a name. I just call it consumer one. We're gonna use Node.js for that as well. And the same thing we're gonna use the row that we just created. Create function. All right, it's done. Now one more. Consumer two. Use an existing row. All right, so that is done as well. And now we can move on to the next step, which is to create an S3 bucket to host our data source. So go back to the console, type in S3, open that into a new tab. Create bucket, uh, give it a name. I'll just call it Meister data source. And then I'll leave in the US East one region. Enable versioning, why not? And then enable encryption. And then create bucket. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the bucket and then configure a trigger. So whenever we upload a file, it's going to trigger our producer lambda. So go to properties. Scroll down under event notifications we're gonna create event notification 
and then give it a name. I just call it data upload prefix. We're not gonna have any prefix suffix. We're gonna restrict that to only text files. And then event type, we are gonna check all the object creation events such as upload a new file or update an existing file. And then we're gonna choose Lambda function. And then we're gonna choose the producer function and then save changes. All right, so that is done. And the next step is to create our Kinesis stream. So go back to the home page and then type in Kinesis. Open that into a new tab. Create data stream. And then give it a name. I'll just call it GeneMeister data stream. And then number of shards, since we have two consumers, I'm just gonna give it two shards so that they can be executed simultaneously. And then create data stream. All right, so it's done and it's active. We're gonna change one configuration. So click on configuration. And then on the encryption, we're gonna enable server-side encryption. And then we're gonna let AWS manage the key. So save changes. All right, so it's done. And now we are ready to write a Lambda code for the producer and the consumers. Let's do the producer first. So let's go to the index.js. We're gonna delete everything inside the handler function. And then first thing first, we're gonna import the AWS SDK. So I'm gonna type in const AWS equal to require AWS SDK. And then I'm gonna update its region on the config. US is one because that's the region where we create our Kines stream. US is one. And then we're gonna define a S3 client. We're just gonna call it S3. New AWS dot S3. And then we're gonna create a Kinesis client. All right, so it's done. And now let's define the handler. First thing first, we're gonna log out the events to see how it looks like. And then we're gonna extract the bucket name and the key name from the event body. So the event is gonna come in as a list. We're only taking the first one because there's only one object inside. And then it's the key name. And then we're gonna define our parameter to get the file from S3. And then key, it's gonna key name. And then we're gonna use the S3 client to get the file. params dot promise dot then. And then in the callback function, we're gonna have a have an async function as well. That's gonna deal with the data. Remember to add async here because inside we're gonna call another async function. So this is necessary. So first we're gonna get the data string. Data.body to string. So the body is gonna come in as a buffer, and right here we're just converting that into a string. And then we're gonna define a payload to send to Kinesis. Data string. And after we construct it, the payload object, we are ready to send it to Kinesis. So we're gonna do a wait, send to Kinesis. We're gonna define this function later. Payload. And that is just gonna be the partition key that we're gonna use. 
and if we have any errors we're just gonna log it out should be a comma and now we're gonna define this function it's gonna be an async function that takes in payload and the partition key first we're gonna construct a param for sending it to kinesis data we're gonna stringify the payload object this is very important we have to stringify that because the kinesis client is expecting a string for the data parameter and then the next one is partition key Okay. And then lastly we're gonna specify the stream name and I believe we call it gen minus the data stream and here we can finally send the data to kinesis using the client record params dot promise dot then response we're just gonna lock it out and then if we have an error we will just lock it out as well all right so that is everything for the producer so we're gonna deploy and now let's write the code for the consumers. So the first one, click on index. We're gonna delete everything inside the handler function. And first thing first, we're gonna log out the event body to see how it looks like. Remember what we mentioned before, the event objects can come in as a list. And in the producer, we only have one item on the list because we only upload one file at a time. But in this case, we can have multiple items in one event. So we're going to use a for loop here. So can record and then we're going to extract the data. JSON parse. It's going to come in as a buffer as well. So we're going to parse it to a JSON object kinesis.data and I believe is a base 64 encoding all right so that's the data so in here you can do all type of things with the data such as send emails to the clients uh, publish it publish the data to social medias and stuff like that but for this demo, I'm just going to lock out the data. And we're going to save it. And then do the same thing for consumer number two. Let's change it to consumer two. Deploy. And what we need to do next is we need to connect our kinesis to our consumers so let's do add trigger we're gonna type in kinesis and then choose the kinesis stream that we just created hit add and now it's added and then do the same thing for consumer number two kinesis add all right so now both are enabled. And now we are ready to test our data streaming system. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to VS Code, open a new folder, and then create a test file, txt. Remember we say that it has to be a text file. And then I just type something like, this is just a test file, just an other line. Write more stuff here. More data. Okay, 
And now let's upload this file to our S3 bucket and see how the entire system works out. So let's go back to AWS, AWS console, go back to the S3 bucket, and then hit upload, add files, and then navigate to the file that we just created, and then hit open, upload. All right, so it's done. And now let's go to the producer and see if it triggers it. Scroll up, monitor, view logs in CloudWatch. And this is our log. Let's open that. Let's look at the object. So this is the event that triggers the Lambda from our S3 bucket. That we have the bucket name and then the file name here. And then after it sends the data to Kinesis, it returns a successful message. And now let's go to our consumers and see if they have processed the data. So go to monitor, view logs in CloudWatch. It got executed. And that is the event object from Kinesis. So that's the data that is encrypted and encoded. And after we extract the data and read it and cancel that out, this is what we got. So it's from consumer one, and this is the exact data that we wrote in the file. And then let's look at consumer number two. I believe the same thing happened here. And there you go, consumer two and then the data. One thing I forgot to mention before is if you go back to the producer Lambda and hit refresh, You should be able to see S3 is configured as the trigger for, for the producer lambda. And this is it everyone. I hope you have learned something. And if you like this video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.